Thank you. Uh, obviously, we're proud of the win, and uh, really proud of the way that they uh, bonded together numerous times in the second half. And um, um, tough locker room at halftime. It really wasn't for me, and it was more them. And um, and um, I, I felt really good that if we got a couple things figured out, and uh, we did a little bit better getting back to the game plan defense and played a little more aggressive um, and, and, and at the same time ran our offense with more more pop, more downhill, more in an attacking way that, that we would chip into it. And then certainly we got down 16, but our guys really continued to respond uh, to each other. And um, very proud of the contributions, very proud of the comeback of, of really almost every one of them in the second half. And um, that's how you get better. You know, you learn how to get better inside of the game, and it usually comes the old-fashioned way. Uh, on the defensive end, with the rebounding, um, in our case, we're pushing the ball and, and, and continuing to reverse the ball. And, um, and getting inside like we can do now. And then I was really proud of the effort on the glass. To get 20 offensive rebounds against that team, um, with, with especially at crucial times, was, was really important. So. Um, you know, switching defenses and all those type of things, those are, they're only as good as the, as the players make it. And our players did a fantastic job of uh, responding uh, to, to, to their strengths and, um, and, and playing through it. And we were the victor and we're very proud of the win because I know we beat a really, really good team. No doubt about that. Good about that. Yeah. Is that more of a 1-3-1 one, one or a 2-3? More of a 2-3. It was more of a 2-3. But it, 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 you have to be so concerned about their shooters. And, and we don't spend a lot of time on the zone right now. And, and we had to make an adjustment in the first half because we were zoning their high pick and rolls. And, um, and they found shooters. I mean, we, it, it's, when you're playing Notre Dame, it's so much more personnel based. But we needed to stop. Um, we weren't getting down quick enough. And they had the same issue with us. I don't know, I'm not sure what Mike's game plan was. but. But it's very hard to bring double coverage into the post when you have a team of shooters like they have and basically like we have. So I'm getting, I'm not sure what his game plan was with that, but we were able to get it inside. They were, and we weren't getting down in there to help quick enough. And uh, and Zach and Bonzi were doing a fantastic job. But, but uh, you don't you don't go into the game thinking you're going to spend a lot of time zoning Notre Dame, but you do have to have it ready. And we had another defense ready, uh, but at the same time, Bonzi played really well today. And they play like he played like that. They're going to be really, really good. So it, it was more of the two-three line. Uh, how Come important, confidence-wise, can a team Jamie. like this? Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry, but no problem. How important, confidence-wise, to win a game this way can this be going into the conference? Well, process? well, we got another game, yeah. so, and that's really important that we that we that we respond uh, right the next two days to getting better and getting ready for uh, Kennesaw State. But I, I think it is. I think it's the way we won the game. And I think it's the way we responded to what we weren't doing in the first half. And as I said to them, you can, you can, uh, you can bottle it up and it becomes part of who you are, or you can forget about it and it just becomes a one-game experience and it was a great win. And our, in our case, you know, I, everybody, we, we let our offense dictate our, our, uh, our lack of offense, dictate our mindset too much in the first half. And, um, and that, that can't be, you know, that can't be. And, 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 and again, it, it made us a little slower defensively, not as quite as locked in on a couple of rotations. And uh, we can't have that. And then you get a couple of turnovers, and that's the stuff that we've got in the gate and get rid of. But uh, the way they won it in the second half, I hope they can continue to build up. That becomes a personal uh, responsibility on each person to remember how they did it and how, and how they came together to help their teammates. Kind of a two-fold question. You talked about it a little bit, just kind of what made you go to zone through, I guess, not just once or twice, but it felt like it was really sustained there, maybe more than it has been other points this season. And you feel like guys just kind of grew into it a little bit? Well, I think so. Yeah, I think so. They got confidence from it. And we were scoring on the other end. I think we held them to one out of their last 11. So you're getting confidence from it. We rebounded out. And, and um, again, we go into a game. I mean, you're not going to go against Notre Dame, in my mind, and, and just say, OK, we're just going to guard them this way. Because I think they're too good. I mean, Mike's too good, and they're too good. They have too many different ways to figure things out. And so you have to have different things there. And um, it just became, 
it was risk reward a little bit. We were struggling with the post because we couldn't get down in there quick enough to help get the ball out. And it's this, they pass it too well. They move too well without the ball. And they're, spa they're too committed to their spacing, to re in my mind. Okay, good, bad, or different in my mind, in our mind, to run a true double scheme. Okay, because they, they, they picked that part. So we had a, we, but again, the defense was, they were aggressive, uh, they were communicating, the bumps were strong, and we were able to rebound out of the challenge shots, or challenge shots and rebound. What was the second part? It's kind of, you got, you got them. Okay, all right. You said it was a tough locker room at halftime, and it really wasn't from you? Who, who I was calm, uh, just our guys. I mean, they, 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 they weren't happy with the way they played. The coaches weren't happy. But I knew we, I, I loved our locker room before the game. Absolutely loved it. And to me, one of the, I can think of all great memories that I've had as a head coach, we won on the road, and it all started in that locker room. It, it, it starts certainly in your preparation and at your walkthrough and your practices before you get there. We had really good ones with all of that. But to me, it's a feel of the locker room before. And, and uh, uh, we just had to rekindle that a little bit. They, they were really ready to play. And uh, we, just didn't, we just didn't have things go right for us enough when we got our heads down. But uh, I, I was one of those days where I was very confident that they would bounce back because they've been growing up and getting better. Coach, you have quite a few kids. I'm from, sorry. You have quite a few kids from in state on your team. Just how important was this win for them? Because it's I a great win against a great team, and that's what it is. I mean, certainly, you want to play well in this environment. Um, it, it's a high level environment. This is one of the great arenas, in I haven't been everywhere in the world. Okay, but I know in the United States it is. All right, and it's. It's high level in every area. It's 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 run from top to bottom in a great way, and and uh, it's an honor to play here. I mean, it really is, and the, and the crowd responded, you know, for, for both teams. So, in that sense, you wanna you wanna win in an environment like this. You wanna win in your city, um, but it's a great win against a great team. That's the most important thing. Tom, about what you got from uh, OG, really, especially offensively. Right That's been coming. I mean, and, and um, for him, it's a matter of. Understanding how good he can be every day in practice, um, learning more, not thinking as much, uh, which all freshmen go through. Thomas is going through the same thing. And we knew we were going to have to have him ready because we were really banged up this week. And uh, really banged up. And, and um, I'm really proud of the guys that responded uh, to their situations. You know, they were cleared to play. And, um, and uh, this was not a normal, you know, exam week is never normal, but this wasn't normal either how many guys were missing practice. So uh, really proud of the way they responded, and he was a beneficiary of really getting better this week, and hopefully he can build on that. It seemed like Robert really wanted the team just came out and played pretty hard. I mean, I, thought, I didn't think we weren't playing hard at the beginning. We just weren't we just weren't aggressive enough. And again, it manifests itself on both ends of the court. We weren't playing downhill enough offensively. Our cuts weren't shut. We weren't coming off. You know, you, Notre Dame overplays. They deny. They're, they're good defensively. They don't get nearly enough credit for how good they are defensively. So you're not just going to pop out against Notre Dame. And so but we thought we were, and, and, that, and, they, and they stagnated us a little bit. But Robert had a fantastic game, a, a fantastic game. He just keeps getting better and better, and he's got big assignments defensively. But James did. I mean, it, James responded from the, 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 the turnovers. He just he responded. You know, and that's, that's what had to happen. But the teammates... They, they, they were great teammates for each other in a, in a, in a tough situation, right? Because we never really had the lead until the end. So that, that's, they hadn't been down that road, you know, where they, where they had to come back like that, or where they had come back like that. So great experience.